Good morning, scholars. It's Mrs. Rosario, and I'm going to read you one of my favorite books, actually one of Harper's favorite books, called Pig the Stinker by Aaron Blabe. And the great thing about this book is, if you really like it, he has a whole series of Pig the Pug books. So here we go, Pig the Stinker. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say that his personal hygiene was far from okay. Look, he really tried to show you that in that picture. Look at all those gross stink lines. Ugh. Pig liked to get dirty. He frankly was rank. His paws could be frightful. His fur often stank. So, we've been working a lot on intonation and expression this year, scholars. And you can tell it's way more fun to read the book with that expression. So, I'm trying to read it like it was really stinky. He wasn't offended by odor or smell. And if you weren't careful, he'd smell you as well. He'd play with all kinds of unspeakable muck. Ugh, look what he's playing with. Poop. Ugh. And do things that make you scream, don't do that. Yuck. He leaked out a scent that could not be forgotten. He reeked. He was rancid. In short, he was rotten. What do you think is going to happen next? Can you make a prediction? So bath time was called, you stinky old mutt. You need a good clean from your ears to your butt. And truth be told, this is the page my daughter thinks is hilarious. But Pig turned his tail, and before you could grab it, he was out of that bathroom like a foul little rabbit. They chased him, but Pig had a devious snack for ducking and weaving and doubling back. Look at that, they're trying to catch Pig the Pug, but he won't let them. And once he had lost them, he used a small toy to block up the pipes. Then he hooted with joy. By the time they had found him, Pig boogied with glee. You won't get your soapy old water on me. They watched his pig gloated. They watched his pig crowed. They watched his pig's plant and made the bathroom explode. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. If you tell Pig it's bath time, he won't disobey. But although you can wish, wash him with soap, cloth, and towel, there's no getting around it. Pig is just foul. And that's it. If you enjoyed this book, check out his other Pig the Pug books. There's a whole great series. Thank you for listening. Bye.